afternoon, everybody, and thank you for coming. Uh, in fact, Kevin's right. I just lived right up the road on Salmon Park Drive as a federal organized crime prosecutor back in the 90s. And I was charged with going after the drug cartels. And I had a fundamental understanding then, and I do now, that the cartels know when to exploit the, the southern border. And they're doing it now masterfully. And they're doing it because President Biden rolled back a lot of the orders of the previous administration that were working. One of the perhaps most reprehensible things I've heard in a long time is Nancy Pelosi and some in the administration saying that this is caused by a pent up demand from the previous administration. There's always a pent up demand for crime. Crossing the border illegally is illegal. And so we shouldn't accommodate that pent up demand. And they seem to be signaling that we should. And here's what's happening. Uh, there's no question this trip has confirmed it for me. There is indeed disorder at the border by executive order. No question about it. We went first to a, a detention facility, $48 million to build. They're spending tens of thousands of dollars a day just to feed this, this surge. They're spending tens of thousands of dollars more a day to clothe them, and to transfer them. All this money is taken, being taken apart away from uh, things we're doing here in the country that could benefit our citizens. It is so bad from a, from a financial standpoint for Border Patrol that, as Kevin alluded to, they're taking money from the future payments down the road uh, later in the year of uh, Border Patrol salaries and Border Patrol pensions just to try and pay for the surge that's going on right now that was caused by this president. And they're hoping for supplemental, but that supplemental doesn't come. I don't know how we're heck we're going to even pay these guys. What are we doing? Right? What are we doing? Another thing. They are, uh, they are not testing these individuals. We saw hundreds of hundreds of people in there today. Not one of them has had a COVID test. And they're transferring to other places without COVID tests. Border Patrol agents have only been inoculated a 50 to 60% at the most right now. They're exposed every day to this. And this is something that the president has caused with this surge. So then we went over to uh, Monument 3, uh, right, right around the, the, the hill here. And we saw firsthand what was going on. And Kevin alluded to what's going on, hundreds of people a day coming across. We saw gaps in the, in the wall that made no sense. They were almost done, and on January 20th at midnight, they were instructed to stop. And now we have a vulnerabilities because of that, and they're exploiting those vulnerabilities. And perhaps worse than that, 120 agents that guard that area that's now vulnerable are being pulled away to go deal with the uh, uh, feed and clothe these kids coming across. And by the way, when kids come across, if you don't think the drug traffickers are doing it, think again. Most of them have a piece of tape across their shirt with instructions on who they are and where, or where they're going and what information they get and what they need to do. So they, it's very organized and they're paying a lot of money per child to get them across, right? The last thing I'll tell you is something that very much concerns me as a Homeland Security uh, ranking member. People they've caught in the last few days are over there in Sector 3 or Monument 3 have been on the uh, terror watch list. Individuals that they have on the watch list for terrorism are now starting to uh, exploit the southern border. We need to wake up. We need to understand, listen, Mr. President Biden, you're an okay guy. Why don't you just admit you made a mistake with this policy and go back to the way it was and keep America safe for all of us and, and, and use that money that we're wasting down here on our American citizens. The door should not be open and we should have immigration the right way.